Hi, this is Ms. Pastorella, and today we are going to solve multi-step compound inequalities and graph their solutions. Below this video, I posted a link to a worksheet. It has 12 questions on it. I also provided you with an answer key, and I will be going over three out of those 12 questions today. So the first question is two separate inequalities that's separated by an or symbol, which is here. So the very first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to solve both inequalities separately. So here I'm just going to subtract 2 from both sides. This cancels out. I'm left with 3r is less than or equal to 3. Now I know I have 3 times r and the opposite is divide, so I'm going to divide 3 to both sides. This cancels and the inequality I'm left with is r is less than 1 since 3 divide 3 is 1. So there's my first inequality, and all numbers less than 1 would be like 0, negative 1, negative 2. Um, I'm going to now come over to the second inequality, and I'm going to solve it just, again, like a two-step equation. I'm going to add 10 to both sides. Now I have 7r is greater than 70. Now I need to divide both sides by 7 to isolate my variable. And this inequality reads r is greater than 10. So now I have two separate inequalities that are going to go together on the same number line. <clears throat> so if I were going to say this with symbols, I know that there's an or symbol in between. So I'm just going to say if r is less than 1 or r is greater than 10. And these are the numbers that fit into this solution set. I'm going to go ahead and graph both situations on the number line. So the first, the smaller number always goes on the left, and this is 1. And then the larger number is 10. I know that neither of these inequalities are included because they don't have an equal to sign underneath. So this is an open circle because 1 is not included. And then I also can see that all these numbers in this set are less than 1, so I'm going to shade this to the left. Now I'm going to graph the second inequality, and I know that r is greater than 10, but not including 10, so that's an open circle. And now I'm going to shade it to the right, saying that these numbers in this set are greater than 10. If I write this now, I'm going to match a set builder to this graph. Um, and a set builder is just that fancy inequality where they share the variable in the middle. So I'm going to write a French brace saying all numbers in the set of r the small number goes on the left, the variable goes in the middle, the larger number goes on the right, and I know that um, since it's an or situation that both of the inequalities are going to be going in the greater than direction. So I'm going to put two greater than symbols, not including the 1 or the 10. Um, a set roster is just a list of numbers that are included in this number set. So the first part are number, all numbers that are less than 1 except for not including 1. So I'm just going to write a few numbers that lead up to that. So I know that these numbers continue on in the smaller direction or to the left. <clears throat> and the three numbers leading up to this are negative 2, negative 1, and 0. I can't include 1 because 1's not included. So I just close that up. And now I have to go to the right side and all those numbers that are greater than 10. So I know that 10 is not included in this number set or this list. So I'm going to start with 11. 12 is included. 13 is included. And then all the way to positive infinity. So it just keeps going forever and ever. And I can close that up. Now I need to write an interval notation to match all of these things. So I'm going to actually take a look at the numbers that are in my original inequality and not necessarily all the numbers that are in my roster set because since some of them are not included, I still need to see them in my interval notation. So I know that this dot, dot, dot right here, I know that that means negative infinity. So I'm just going to put negative infinity. And then the last number in this number set is technically a 1, even though 1's not included. But since they're not included, I, I know I can never include negative infinity, so that gets a parenthesis, not a bracket. And since 1's not included, I'm also going to just place a parenthesis there. 
Now for the second interval notation, I'm going to do the larger set of numbers. And I know that the smallest number in this was a 10, so right here. But 10 was not included, so I'm going to again put a parenthesis. And then I know that this dot 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 means I'm going all the way to positive infinity. And I can't ever include infinity, so again that gets another parenthesis. The second inequality we are going to solve is in set builder notation already. If you take a look, there's a variable in the middle, and then there's two inequalities surrounding it since they share the middle. Um, that's a little bit different than the first one we did. The first one we did was two complete separate inequalities that had an OR symbol in between. So here I have to stay organized, and I'm going to put lines surrounding my inequality symbol just so I can make sure that I'm positioning everything correctly. And the middle says negative 25 hundredths times V. So to isolate, I need to do the opposite, which is divide. So if I do it in the middle, I have to do it on the left-hand side. And I have to divide it on the right-hand side. And now I need to simplify all three parts. So if I simplify the middle, that canceled out to a 1. I'm left with V in the center. Then if I come over to the left and I simplify 3 divided by negative 25 hundredths, I get negative 4. And on the right-hand side, if I divide negative 2 and a half divided by negative 25 hundredths, I'm left with positive 10. Since I divided both sides of the inequality by a negative, I have to make sure I change all of my signs. So right now they're all greater than signs. So again, since I brought a negative from the middle to the left and from the middle to the right, um, past the inequality sign, I have to switch the sign. So I'm going to just change them both to less than symbols. And if I take a look here, this is already in set builder notation. And the reason for that is the low number is on the left, the variable is in the middle, and the high number is on the right. So if I take a look at the inequality, if I wanted to graph it, I would say that the negative 4 is the smaller number on the left, 10 is the higher number on the right, and I can also see that they're both less than symbols, which means it's going to be an AND situation when it's in builder form. So what I would do here is I would circle the negative 4, and now negative 4 is not included because it's just less than, not less than or equal to. 10 is also not included, and again, I know that it's an AND situation, so I'm going to shade in between. So it's saying all of these numbers in between are in the number set on a number line. Um, the set builder was already written for you, so I'm just going to rewrite it, except with all the fancy stuff around it. So I use my French brace. All the numbers in the set of V are in between 4 and 10. However, they're not including negative 4 or 10. So now if I take a look at the roster, I just need to make a list of the numbers included in this set. And I can't include, include the negative 4 or the 10. So if I can't include the negative 4, I have to go directly to the right of the 4 which is negative 3 and negative 2. And I can see that there's an interval of 1, meaning I'm counting by 1. So I'm just going to put a dot, dot, dot saying all the numbers in between. Now I have to do the numbers leading up to 10 but not including 10, which are 8 and 9. So there's the numbers in my list. You could write all of the numbers, but in this case it's not necessary. I believe there's too many. Now we have to do an interval notation stating the range of numbers that we have here. And negative 4 is the smallest number, and 10 is the largest number. However, uh, the negative 4 is not included, so I'm going to put a parenthesis. And parentheses, remember, mean not included, like it's not equal to. And then the highest number is 10, and again, that's not included, so I put a parenthesis instead of a bracket. The third inequality that we're going to solve is also in set builder notation. You could see that there's a variable in the middle, and then there's also a number on the left-hand side, and there's a number on the right-hand side of the inequality. So I'm just going to do the same thing 
to stay organized. And I'm going to treat this like it's a two-step equation, except instead of just doing it to one side and doing it to the other, I have to do it to three sides. So I'm going to start with the constant, which is the minus three, and I'm going to add three, which is the opposite. And then I'm going to do it to all of the sides. Um, this cancels. I'm left with 2p in the center. Um, I bring down my inequalities. And I simplify the left, which is 6. And then 12 plus 3 on the right-hand side is 15. Um, now I'm going to divide 2 to both sides, or to all three sides. And I'm going to simplify each one. And 6 divided by 2 is 3. I'm going to keep my inequality. Um, the 2's cancel out. I'm going to put the inequality here too. And now 15 divided by 2 is 7.5. Um, let's pretend that this one said they only wanted integer answers. So if it only wanted integer answers, I'm not dealing with decimals and I'm not dealing with fractions or anything like that. I can only use positives and negatives without decimals. So now this is already in builder notation. And since it's in builder notation, I don't really have to move it because I do notice that this is the low number and that this is the high number. Um, since I can't use the seven and a half, and I know that it has to be less than seven and a half and it has to be an integer, I'm gonna go ahead and change this builder to a seven. So here's my new builder. Now I'm gonna go ahead and graph that. I could see that they're both less than. I'm gonna put the smaller number, the larger number, the three is not included and the seven this time is included. Since it is included, I'm gonna shade it in. And again, I see that they're both less than in the builder, so I'm gonna shade in between. And that's saying all the new numbers in between three and seven, but not including three. Um, the builder, I'm gonna just copy the same thing I had from the beginning, except that I'm gonna put all that fancy stuff around it. And now when I take a look at my roster here, this is the first inequality that we had where something was included. So I want to take a look at how that looks on the roster. So the three is not included on my list. However, four is, five is, six, and seven. So all those numbers in between. Now for the interval notation, I'm going to start off with the low number, which was three, and the high number, which is seven. And this time the three is not included, so I'm gonna put a parenthesis on the left. And then since seven is included, I'm actually gonna put a bracket. This means the number is included. And that is pretty much it for today. Um, please comment below if you have any questions. Make sure you take a look at the answer key so you can see the answers for questions one through 12. Have a good day.